Hello and welcome to my first ever league race. Today we're at the Spanish Grand Prix for pre-season of RFL. It's lights out and away we go. We've had a decent start there, despite the Force India ahead of us actually jumping the start. But we're side by side with the Toro Rosso now, heading down into turn one. But we go very cautious into the corner and I think that's some contact up ahead. Yes it is. I think that might have been the Haas driver who's side by side with the Toro and we almost hit the back of the Haas. And that was very close there as the tour also goes off the track and that's now up into P11 for us as we go into turn 4 and we are not going to be making any illustrious dives at this stage in the race but that's the force needed, he's made a bit of a mistake and onto the grass he goes as he actually hits the side of us there and we throw up the hand as the Haas goes wide into turn 5 and we go up the inside and that is us now up into P9 in this pre-season race as we complete the move going into turn 6 and 7 there as we cut on to the end of lap 2, we have got right behind McLaren coming out of the final corner. We've got quite a decent exit. We've not got DRS yet as it's only the start of the third lap now. So we go back into the slipstream to try and get a better run. Will we take a look up the inside? No we don't and we think better of the move and we're going to try and make a better run on the McLaren driver in the next lap which we do and we do get DRS this time and can we make the move this time? As we're in the slipstream, can we try and go to the right? We do that. Up the inside, can we make the move into turn one? It's going to be side by side. We break into the corner, we lock up slightly as we get very close to the McLaren there, but we back out of the move as we weren't going to be able to complete the move around the outside there. But as we continue on to this lap, the McLaren driver does go a bit wide there, so that does leave a window of opportunity to go up the inside, but we're not able to make the move. And we're going to have to wait for another opportunity to possibly make the overtake as we both lock up going into turn 5 and now we're going to cut later into the lap we're going around turn 9 we're going to get DRS but we put a wheel into the gravel we've lost control and we have almost spun there and I don't know why we didn't turn just turn left there but we've spun around into the gravel once again and we've lost more time and we've lost about 10 or 15 seconds or so but as we cut on to lap 6 now that's our teammate and he's gone off the escape road there we go up the inside as into turn 10 and we decide to let him back through as he's on a different strategy to us but that also lets the tower also back through us so that has been a bit costly there that decision and now as we cut on to lap 7 we have got DRS we're into rich mix now and we're going to try and make a move up the inside we lock up and we almost make contact with the Toro Rosso driver. We did very well to avoid that, but we have lost a bit of time. But cutting on to the end of our eight now, we've got DRS again on the Toro Rosso car. We are in the slipstream. We're going to go to the right. We are side by side, heading down into turn one. It looks like we've completed the move before the corner. And that's us now up into P6 in this pre-season race. And so as we cut on to lap 10, we're into the pits for a set of medium compound tyres. It is a decent stop from the Sabre team, but now as we cut on to lap 14, we've overtaken our teammate's ghost car, but we've actually had an illegal overtake as we went slightly off track. So we're gonna have to let him back, but that has allowed the Haas driver to come through. And that's not good, and the ghost car's still not overtaken us, and we eventually allow him through and don't get the penalty. But we're cutting on to lap 15, and we've been hit from behind, and we're now side by side with the Toro Rosso driver I believe we make contact and contact again and we've been hit off and into the gravel trap we both go and that has not been a very good incident there and we've lost quite a bit of time from that as well as now we cut on to lap 23 and we're in two pits for another set of medium combine tyres that's another decent stop there but now cutting on to lap 32 we cut on to the chequered flag and it's a P7 finish in our first ever league race so if you have enjoyed, do leave a like on the video, share it around and subscribe to the channel to see more videos on F1 2017. So I'll see you next time for another video and goodbye.